Timothy Brovitz. Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back, Brovitz. Welcome back to Cooper Bits, the yes. show where I, I started to do like a. Mm -hmm, yes, welcome back to. Uh, I'm Kurt Frog again. <laughs> it's twisting my arm. I'm transforming. <laughs> it's like a werewolf, uh, but at, at the full moon, you turn into Kermit the Frog. Oh no, I'm turning into Kermit the Frog. <laughs> oh, like a terrifying transformation. Turn into a little green puppet. Now this is interesting. This actually incorporates the invisibility move. Like you have to be invisible for this. But now I can walk, so... Oh, and also I have the fast forward function if I want to use it. So. <laughs> I didn't realize how much stock punch noises they use in this game. Oh, most definitely. <laughs> like, I, the only thing I'm surprised I haven't heard yet is a Wilhelm scream. <laughs> Apparently you haven't been listening hard enough every time. Just kidding. Every single enemy makes a Wilhelm scream. That would be hilarious. I could see someone doing that in like a Flash game or something, but... I mean, come on. Every time? I, I, in the wrong spot. Oh! Did I break that ball just by- oh, I guess I could, I could always do that. Never mind. I'm <laughs> being stupid. You've been doing this this whole time, I don't understand. Uh, I was like, wait, I can break balls by walking into them? And I'm like, wait, I, I could always do that. Never mind. Hmm. I really like that fast feature. Thank you, game. What? What's making that noise? Is that the sounds like fireworks. It does sound like fireworks. The news launching fireworks. Oh, this part. Holy <laughs> That was not. Oh, they don't detect you whenever you're invisible? No, they do not. Because the yellow ones are just like sensors. Are you holding the fast forward right now? No, I'm not. <laughs> now I'm holding the fast forward. <laughs> I love how it has a little bass line every time you tiptoe. Yeah, it really does. <laughs> Makes me happy. Did I miss? I didn't miss any balls, did I? I don't think so. I don't think there's been very many. I don't think I... Yeah, I don't have the blueprints or anything. Alright. If this is like the level where you get the blueprints, then... Oh. oh, so those are fireworks? No, they're just making fire noises because they're launching fire. Because they had stock footage and they needed to use it all. <laughs> they had like a quota. All right, we need like 75 different instances of firework sounds. Just because we can. Are we putting in 75 different firework situations? Nah, <laughs> that's, that's too maybe many fireworks. Maybe I'll have about 60 or so. That's, that's way too many fireworks. <laughs> like someone's like giving him the hard numbers on how many things they have. <laughs> so we have this many instances of the usage of this royalty free sound effect. <laughs> Drive it into the ground. We need more fireworks effects. We could have, like, five of the bosses use, you know, fireworks. <laughs> Sir, I've perfected the usage of the Wilhelm scream. No, none of that! Oh, crap. I was not paying attention, obviously. Mm. I, I don't... I held down the triangle button instead of the circle button. Well, you are not invisible, my friend. And yet... <laughs> that monkey yeah. is an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, I'm Where to go? Get him! Get him! Get him! Do it! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! I, I did it! I did a thing. Uh, I feel like I'm missing bottles. This level. I don't think so. I haven't seen you miss any. Well, here's two. I almost walked past. I mean, yeah, I've, I've kind of. I feel like around. this level's set up to make you feel like you're missing something, but you're not. And this level's actually a bit more um, winding than a lot of levels are. So. Well, it's the Chinese level, so I mean. Wow, what's that supposed to mean, though? That the Chinese are you have racist against Asians? You are totally just rapping on Asians, aren't you? Uh, no, I'm crapping on Asians! <laughs> Chinese got some curvy architecture, but it doesn't stop the awesome. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know, dude. You're too white, man. Like... <laughs> uh, yeah. Anytime anyone asks me to, like, spit a rhyme, I'm just like, like, Whoa! How many people ask you to spit a rhyme? <laughs> I don't know, but I spit on the ground. Yeah, you kind of spat on my knee, honestly. Sorry. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, clean it up. That's not a dip can. <laughs> That all Southerners have. I, I, even if you don't dip in the South, you have, you still have a dip can. <laughs> it, it's actually required by law. It's, it's, it just manifests. It's, it just happens. It's, uh, legend says, 
if you don't check your cupboard in three weeks, a dip can <laughs> magically materializes. Yep, and if you... It's kind of like how everyone who owned a Game Boy has a copy of that WWE game. It's <laughs> where if you leave it what? in the drawer for too long, uh, <laughs> this copy of that WWE Smackdown game just what did, what did nowhere. You, what did that... What did that uh, I was watching my favorite EuroTuber, uh, Ashens. You gonna move on this? <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Um, but no, go on. What did he, um, what was he say? So he was uh, talking about the Game Boy and how like every owner of the Game Boy has this one copy of the game because you know um, they don't even remember buying it is the thing, <laughs> but they always seem to have it. And it said <laughs> he said that it, it said that if you leave your oh, Game okay, Boy in the yeah. cupboard for long enough without checking on it. A copy of this game will literally materialize for unknown reasons. <laughs> Jesus. But I mean, while goofy, it is, you know. First, let me just destroy this laser thing, and then I'll. Okay. Come back. There we go. But <laughs> while, while it's a goofy concept, to me at least, it it's it was entertaining because you know that line of logic makes no sense, but at the same time, it was laughably enjoyable. I mean, it's it's it's. I totally agree about certain things, like, in that nature, as far as, um, oh gosh, what's another, what's a better example, besides the WWE, the game that everyone had, whether they wanted to or not. Um, uh, Super Mario 64? For me, for me, that instance is, uh, Super Mario All-Stars. I have three copies of the game, and I only, like, bought one of them. Like, I don't know how I got the other two copies, but they just kind of... I mean, you got them, but you don't remember. Maybe you missed they, one? They kind of just have... No, I think it's up here. Ah, yep. yep. Look at you. <laughs> they, they, they do that way too much in the second and third game, so... <laughs> you, you get used to it, huh? Yeah. Well, they're like, oh, you remember that part in the first game where we stuck it on top of the spire? Yeah, huh. Everyone seemed to love that part. No, I couldn't see it up there. That was clever. The camera was like... The, the camera is significantly better in the later games, too. So, like, the only way I could have seen that is if I jumped close to it or if I had the Binocucom. But, um... Yeah. Is it? I'm just not realizing that the game might be... Spikes cool. suck. Spikes suck. Amen. Sir Augustine of Cooper's technique to briefly divide gravity. Yes. Wait, you had an ancestor that could just outright fly for a couple seconds? Basically. <laughs> I can fly and yep. I can defy gravity. <laughs> <laughs> now, if they if they like kept all these techniques from the first game in the later games, and then also, oh please, oh please, oh please, no, no, <laughs> I thought, I thought, <laughs> no. You still have your uh, silver, <laughs> but I have to go back. <laughs> Whoops! I thought it was gonna do like the fall damage thing, where it was gonna like it had an invisible wall, it was gonna catch me, but the one time I expected the you game mean, to you do mean that. The, the incomplete damage plane where it has like yeah. that one hole you can jump through and not die? Well, I thought it was gonna do that this time, but the game okay, is like, so nah, game, you're good. The game's got, <laughs> this game has such, such inconsistent kill planes, it's laughable. Oh my gosh. I'm not saying that it's a terrible thing, but I mean, especially in a first entry in a long running series like Thank this. Thank goodness for this fast thing. But the idea here is that you're, you've got a kill plane just kind of randomly. You know, you know, Bentley, I'll be honest here, I could have told you that by smell alone. Yeah, honestly, with the amount of fireworks we passed, um, I'm pretty sure that was a safe assumption. But, you know, if you need, um... All this to uh, reevaluate whatever. <laughs> you know, if you live oh. if you live by that saying, you never assume anything. I already did that one, right? Yeah. Let's see. I did that one. That one. That Looks one. Looks like you've got one left. Yeah. Um, I meant to say this in Miss Ruby's like area, and honestly, I totally forgot it. I don't know why I forgot it. Um, actually, I'm forgetting it now. So, what the heck was I saying? <laughs> um, crap. I mean. You guys need to be thankful whenever we pick Dang up a conversation it. from a previous episode. <laughs> Seriously. Because, like, as we're talking, we literally oh forget what I'm... we were saying. 
<laughs> I forgot it in just the second I mentioned it. It's like, oh, got it, got it. Oh, it's gone. And it happens all the time. Oh, that makes me mad. Uh, this is going to bother me. All You're right. going to talk about it in Miss Ruby stage? Um, Like, you, you had just paused before you mentioned that. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm so... Whatever. Next time on Brobits, Next I'll, time on Brobits, hopefully, hopefully Caleb will remember. Bye, guys. Bye. I'm not dumb, I swear. Brobits!